Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm back in New York. This is gonna be the first vlog of December, which is so crazy. Today's actually the last day of November. Today's Wednesday. We've been back for a few days now. I've been back at work and just back into the routine after Thanksgiving. The last video you guys would have seen was the Q&A, and so um, it's been probably like two or three weeks now since I've vlogged. Speaking of the q and I just want to say thank you guys so much for everyone who watched and left me the sweetest comments, um, especially in regards to the last question I think it was in the video. It's, it's videos like that and responses like the ones that you guys left that just remind me how much I love the space and how much I love, um, you know, being able to share my thoughts and having such an amazing group of people who I get to share my content with and talk with. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that and that I love you guys and you're all so sweet. And yeah, it just really made my day, honestly. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, a lot of you will already do because you follow me on Instagram and I posted while I was on my trip, but I just got back from a week in Seattle. It was my first time going there and it was a combination of family trip with my boyfriend, um, my birthday, Thanksgiving, and it was just such a beautiful week and just very wholesome and family oriented. I didn't vlog, but it just wasn't really the kind of trip that I would vlog, so I decided to do an Instagram highlight instead. So if you wanna go check that out, it's there. It's a Seattle highlight on my main page. I feel like I actually filmed quite a lot of it on Instagram. I filmed some of the hikes we went on. We went on two really beautiful hikes. Um, I also showed some of the food places we went. We spent most of the trip on Whidbey Island, which is an island outside of Seattle um, or outside of the city. But then we also spent a day, actually we spent my birthday in downtown Seattle and we did a food tour through the Pike Place Market. We actually stayed right across from the Pike Place Market. Um, so if you guys wanna check that out, I'll have it linked down below. My Instagram's actually always linked in the description box. We were there until Friday and then we basically traveled all day Friday, got back late on Friday night, and then I spent the weekend just kind of reorganizing, doing laundry, all that kind of stuff. Um, I also caught up on some World Cup games that I wasn't able to watch. I'm sure a lot of you guys are tuning into the World Cup. Let me know where you're from and who you're cheering for. Um, I'm obviously Team Netherlands. I don't know if that's obvious, but Team Netherlands all the way. We actually have a really exciting game this Saturday against USA, so we'll see how it goes. I uh, <laughs> My boyfriend is American, and so he's cheering for the US, so it's gonna be a very interesting <laughs> game. This is kind of a stupid purchase. Um, I actually ordered an orange crew neck for the Saturday game. Normally I don't do this kind of thing, but because we're playing USA and my boyfriend is American and I obviously have a lot of American friends, I felt like I really needed to put in a little bit more effort. So I ordered a very obnoxious orange crew neck sweater, which will be arriving on Friday. So I'll show you guys that when it gets in. So yeah, that's what's been going on here. I have been working all this week so far. I'm working today and tomorrow, and then Friday I have the day off, which I think we're gonna go get a Christmas tree. I really just wanna get a small tree to fit in the corner by my mirror. And they're selling them at a bunch of places, but there's a place not too far from here that sells really cute small trees. So I think that's gonna be our Christmas activity for Friday. And other than that, I'm just gonna be vlogging with you guys in between work. I only have to work a few hours today, which is really nice. And then I'm getting a haircut this afternoon, which I'll take you guys to. I've been wanting to get one for a little while. I just feel like I need a little cleanup. Hair is getting a little long. I was able to make it home just for a little bit before my hair appointment. So I made lunch and I just made a coffee, which I might have to take to go, but I'm out of focus. Um, I just love being able to come home in the middle of the day and have lunch at my place. It's also a very gloomy day. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's gloomy. What was I gonna say? I made lunch, but I 
I'm going to actually remake it tomorrow. Um, I had leftovers from yesterday, so it didn't really make sense to show you guys something that I didn't make today, and I figured, because I still have all the ingredients from yesterday in the fridge, that I would just make it again. I basically made a couscous salad with some herbs and vegetables, and what else did I have? Pecans, dates, and a honey mustard dressing. It was so good. It's also very fall inspired and um, easy to bring with you, like if you wanna bring lunch to work or something. Um, so yeah, I'll make, a, I'll make that for you guys again tomorrow. But yeah, we're just here chilling. I think I'm gonna leave in like 10, 15 minutes or so and then we're gonna get my hair cut. Quick rainy day outfit check. Um, I'm going dressed very chill just because it's nothing crazy that I need to get dressed up for, but um, I'm wearing just a black basic long sleeve from Aritzia. I just got this during the Black Friday sale, so I'll link it below. Um, I'll probably show you guys some of the other things that I got. I didn't go crazy or anything, but I just stocked up on some basics that I needed. I also got a new bag because I've had this one for almost, I think it's like four years. Which isn't, I don't know, I guess it's long for just like an everyday bag, but it's kind of just falling apart. It's not as nice as it used to be, so I wanted to kind of see if there was anything that I liked that I could get for discount, and there was. So yeah, I'll show you guys that later, probably tomorrow. Um, then I'm wearing my A Goldie jeans with the crisscross, uh, is it fly? My Princess Polly puffer jacket. I. I feel like I wear this every day. I wear it so much. And then I'm also wearing some boots. These are actually, I've had them for probably like a month or two. I just don't think I've had the chance to show you guys them. They're from Free People. I did get them off Revolve, but um, they're, I can't pull them up completely, but they're like this. I really needed some new like winter boots that weren't so tall or didn't have a heel on them because I already have like a basic casting boot. I just wanted something I could wear every day. I could wear like all through the city. Um, and so I saw these and at first the, the picture makes them look kind of ugly. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I love how slim they are in the shaft. So I ordered them and I actually really love them. They're super comfortable, very durable. And the shaft, like I just showed you guys, goes very thin, like all the way up my leg. Probably stops around here. So you don't see it when you're wearing jeans. Like even slim fitting jeans. I love it. Just finished at the nail salon. It's almost stopped raining, but she did such a nice job on my hair that I don't want to get it wet. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy with my cut. She really just took a couple inches off the bottom and trimmed up my layers and stuff so it feels really fresh and I don't know, getting a haircut is always a good feeling so if you guys are in New York and you need a good stylist I'll have her Instagram and contact link down below. I see Deanna, she works at Cutler Soho, I've been going to her for years and her haircuts are just always the best. Anyway, I'm gonna hop on the subway and head home and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next day. It's actually almost 5 p.m. I just got home from work. I also had to, bleh, I can't even talk. I also had to run to a casting after. Um, and yeah, it was a really good day. I'm about to make myself another coffee because I haven't had one since I left this morning. And I have a lot of work to do tonight because I have to edit this vlog and then kind of have to like catch up on some things that I would normally already have prepared for Sunday but because of the trip and work I just I'm vlogging more in real time rather than vlogging ahead so it is what it is but um, I promised you guys that I was gonna make or show you how to make that recipe from the other day as I mentioned yesterday this is gonna be a giant couscous salad with honey mustard dressing Looks so good. Mine did not look as good as it did in the video, but I'm gonna try again tonight. Um, basically, it just consists of giant couscous, cucumber, tomato, 
some herbs, which I'm using dried herbs because um, I didn't have time to go to the grocery store, so I placed an online grocery order and they didn't have um, parsley or dill. So I'm just going to use dried parsley, but it's fine. For me, it's fine at least. And then it calls for roasted pecans. And then she also has cranberries in there, which I'm going to replace with dates because I just like dates better than cranberries and I feel like they um, are just easier on my stomach. So I got these. And then the dressing I will show you guys as I'm making it. So I'm excited. Mm, I'm debating if I actually want to set you up like I usually do where I just have the camera pointing at the bowl or if I want to just keep it like this for today and I just talk to you as I'm making it. Maybe we'll do that instead and just see which one you guys like better. I don't usually make couscous. I usually eat rice. As a lot of you guys will know, rice is my preferred carb. It's the best carb in my opinion. But um, I was really excited to try this. I ended up ordering two boxes of this couscous because it was the only one that was available on the Amazon Fresh um, delivery, which I also never thought that I would be a grocery delivery person, but it just is so convenient when you're busy or when you need to buy things that are heavy. Like I can only carry so much and the closest grocery store is like a 15 minute walk from here which on a beautiful day is not an issue, but when it's dark at 4.30 p.m. and freezing cold outside, like it's just way easier to get it delivered. So anyway, this is the brand that I ordered. It says that it's a roasted garlic and olive oil flavor, but the seasoning is in a pouch, so you don't need the seasoning. Um, and the couscous that's in here is just plain. So um, that's the only reason that I bought this. So yeah, I just thought I would quickly mention that in case you guys see the garlic flavoring and think why. But you can just toss the seasoning if you're not gonna use it. We're gonna add one and three quarter cups of water and a tablespoon of olive oil and then we're gonna bring it to a boil. While this is boiling, I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers and tomatoes. I'm also gonna get my herbs ready. Um, and then I'll show you guys both of those when they're done. And then we'll make the dressing. Okay, so I pretty much have everything ready to go except for the dressing. The couscous is also done. I just keep stirring it every once in a while so that it doesn't stick together. Um, I actually just stirred it, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit longer while I prepare the dressing so that it's not piping hot when I put it with the vegetables. And then I'm gonna add everything together and mix it up and then we're gonna be done. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this before my camera dies. For the dressing, honey mustard dressing, it's going to be one tablespoon of mustard, two teaspoons of honey, two tablespoons of olive oil, juice of half of a lemon, and salt and pepper. So, fairly straightforward. Taking a major risk by putting this on the couch, but I need the light. It's so dark in here. Um, but this is my finished result. The salad looks amazing. And then I also am just having some leftover chicken that I made yesterday because I need to finish it. Okay, it is Saturday. It's late afternoon. It's four o'clock. The sun is, I mean, we don't have sun today because it's been raining all day, but um, we're gonna lose light pretty soon. So I figured I would check in um and tell you guys what i've been up to today was the netherlands versus usa game and so we had a pretty early start to our day the game started at 10 so we had to be at the bar by 9 so that we could get seats and we could just find a spot before it got really busy um and as we were leaving the apartment we get a text from our friend who was going to go early saying that there was a line around the corner 
of fans trying to get into this bar. So we had to find plan B, but luckily the guys were able to find a bar not too far away. We ended up being the first ones there, so we were able to like secure a table in the corner. We ended up being the only Dutch people in the bar. Everyone else was cheering for USA, so it was pretty funny. If you guys didn't watch the game, Netherlands won. It was three to one. Um, and it was a really nice game to watch. Anyway, that was our morning, and then we went for brunch, went to Westville, one of my favorite go-to spots in the city, just like easy, good food. Um, I had to run a couple of errands, and now I'm here. I'm gonna chill for the night, because I have to edit and upload this video for tomorrow, so. Um, anyway, I told you guys that I would show you the few things that I got from Black Friday. Black Friday is obviously a great opportunity to update your wardrobe or buy things that you've been wanting but don't necessarily want to pay full price for. But I also always find that I forget things that I maybe want and then I'll keep it in mind for Boxing Day. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. I think I only really have four things to show you. Um, and they're pretty much all like either basics that I needed or just quality items that I'm gonna be wearing for a long time. Um, okay, first thing that I got is this really beautiful cashmere sweater slash cardigan. Um, you would have probably seen this earlier in the vlog. I was wearing it, I think, in the first little talking segment. But this is what it looks like. It's this oatmeal color. It's 100% cashmere. It's really, really good quality. And it kind of serves multiple purposes because you can wear it just closed as a sweater or you can wear it open and have it be like a little cardigan. This one full price is pretty expensive. I think it's like 250 full price. Um, but I ended up getting this for 25% off and then I also had credit to the website because I donated a bunch of clothes through the Reformation and ThreadUp um, clothing donation collaboration that they have. And so I ended up getting this for a very, very good price. I know I've talked about this a number of times, but if you guys aren't aware, you can donate your clothes through ThreadUp and then you can get credit to certain stores. So Reformation does it, Madewell does it. I'm pretty sure Abercrombie and Fitch is doing it now as well. So just look into that because it's a really great way to not only get rid of clothes that you don't use anymore that just don't serve you, but then also get a little bit of money towards maybe something new you would like to purchase. Next thing that I got is a new staple black bag. I got this off Shopbop and they were having a really good sale. I think everything on the site was 30% off. Pretty much everything was 30% off. This is what it looks like. And I really, really love it. The brand is called Oraton. I've kind of been keeping my eye out for a new bag for a while because even though I do have my black Stodd bag, which is fairly new, I think it's more of a nighttime bag and I just wanted something that was more of an everyday bag, um, something that was a little bit bigger. This actually fits a lot. It's pretty sizable on the inside and there is a little coin pocket right there um, for your keys and things like that. Um, next thing that I got is the set from Aloe. I actually showed you guys the pants in an activewear haul that I did a couple vlogs ago. I ordered four sets, I think, because I just needed to do a little update on my workout wardrobe. Um, and I ended up keeping only one set. I kept the olive green one from Lululemon. And one of the sets was this Aloe set. It's just a pair of black leggings with an aloe waistband and a white piping detail on the sides. And I loved the fit. I loved the set, but it was just too expensive. I think the set in total was like 250 bucks for a workout set. Um, and so I ended up returning it, but then two weeks later, Aloe went on sale. They also had 30% off. And so I ended up purchasing the leggings and I purchased a different bra but it also has this aloe detail on the front and so it matches really well with the leggings. And I actually like the style of this bra better because it's just a little bit lighter. I don't necessarily need that much support. Um, and the only reason I wanted the other bra is because it matched the leggings. I like to wear, I like to wear matching sets. Um, but then I saw this one and this one was actually half the price of the other bra and I honestly love this style better. So this is what I, this is, oh my God, I can't even show you. Um, this is the bra that I ended up getting to match. And then the last thing that I got was just two basic black long sleeves from Aritzia. 
very simple. This one's from Wilfred. I'll link the exact name and size and stuff in the description box. I just needed some black basic tops that weren't turtlenecks that I can wear to castings or just wear as kind of like a winter uniform under a coat. And I did have this one before, but I don't know what happened to it. I maybe have lost it in the move or something like that, but I just, I can't seem to find it anywhere. So I ended up ordering two more because they were also having a sale and um, these kind of tops will last me for many seasons. That's all I got for Black Friday. I will leave links in case you guys are interested and sizes. I'm pretty sure I got everything here in a small, which is true to size for me. I'm gonna do some editing and then I will see you guys in a little bit. I was gonna close off the vlog, but I am about to bake some cookies. And I thought that I would share them with you guys because I have recently discovered this new cookie dough. Um, and I think a lot of you guys will like it slash be interested. If you don't already know, I love cookies and they are probably one of my favorite sweet treats and desserts. And so um, I saw this dough, I think it was on YouTube. I've been seeing it for a while now. I just never looked into buying it um, until I was in Whole Foods last week or earlier this week. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, this is the dough. I'm going to buy it. So I bought the dough, I'll insert a little clip of what the packaging looks like. It's called Sweet Lauren's, Sweet Lauren's or Sweet Lauren's, I'm not exactly sure how she pronounces it, but basically it's a plant-based dairy and gluten-free dough, cookie dough. Um, it comes pre-formed into little cookie shapes. I can actually show you guys. I kept the rest of the dough that I wasn't using in a little Tupperware. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. And it's so easy to use, you basically just pop them into the oven for 13 to 15 minutes depending on how you like them and that's it so I highly recommend this for anybody especially people who have you know issues with gluten don't like to eat dairy or just want a cookie dough with a little bit healthier ingredients I feel like with cookies it's really hard because if you want them to be truly healthy you're either gonna sacrifice the flavor or the texture or the consistency or all of the above and so I feel like the ingredients are really good considering how amazing they taste and they're also boyfriend approved so <laughs> I'm gonna pop these in the oven and then I will show you guys what they look like after okay I've been giving them some time to cool down they've definitely shrunken a little bit since I first took them out so don't be alarmed if they look a little bit full or if they seem a little bit soft when you take them out wouldn't leave them in longer than 15 minutes on 325 um, because they do kind of settle and shrink a little bit and then once they cool down they're can't even see um, they're perfect to eat so I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on the inside actually they still feel a little warm so I'm just gonna leave them on the baking sheet a little bit longer but I'll show you guys what they look like on the inside they're just so soft and they taste so good So, go buy the stove and make the cookies. With all of that said, I'm going to end off this vlog because it's gotten quite long. And I already feel like I need to get started for next week since I'm behind in my mind. But um, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I know that I mentioned I was going to get a Christmas tree in this vlog, but it just didn't end up working out with my work schedule. So, we're going to do it in the next one. I'm going to attempt to buy it on Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.